You guys, I just got done recording the nightcap telling you guys that I need to learn to start being able to do things in my house without feeling the pressure of having to record everything I do. And I said I'm going to just go ahead and do things without recording. And guess what? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Not, not right away. Not tonight. The pressure is too strong. The guilt would be unimaginable. So I am going to take you over to the counter and show you this cake that I'm going to attempt. I'm doing all different stuff, different pan that I would not normally use, so it could be a complete fail, but I don't care. I'm going to try to make it very quick, very quick. If I can at least get used to doing things quickly, then the editing won't take so long, and then I won't have to feel so, like, pressured to do a video. See, look at how much time I am wasting right now just explaining these things to you. What is wrong with me? No more talk. Let's go cook. I am going to be making some kind of a cake. <laughs> I have no idea really what I'm going to do. But I have a white cake mix here, super moist white cake mix. This was only a buck. And I'm cutting this in half. So I just wanted to show you guys, if any of you are worried about like, what is half, I'm gonna weigh this. And I'm gonna put it on grams. So I have 466 grams, so I only need 233. So I'm just gonna take some of this out and then weigh the rest. For those of you who like to make sure you're doing it right. <laughs> you know to me there is no right. Okay, so what did I say? I need 233 grams. Scales do come in handy. 298, so let's knock some more out of here. 246, we're getting there. 234. Come on. Can't get any closer. It says three egg whites or three whole eggs, but you guys already know that I normally put just two eggs in a cake mix. So because I'm doing half, I will do just one. Oops, I forgot to turn the camera back on. I just cracked the egg. Then it says a third cup of oil. So I will do half of a third cup. And since I don't have a one-sixth I'm just going to do like half of a third. Then it says one and a quarter cups of water. So I'm just going to go over to the sink and that will be a half and an eighth. So I'm just going to do a half a cup and then I'll do half of my one fourth cup. Be right back. Don't go away. And then once again, I'm going to do the quick and easy, just doing this with a fork. Guess what we're going to do? I've decided I'm going to do some funky kind of strawberry jelly filling, and let's put a little bit of strawberry jelly in this. Well, actually, I have strawberry preserves right here. Let's add a nice generous spoonful, like of that. That was like a heaping big tablespoon, maybe like a quarter of a cup. We'll go with a quarter of a cup. Now I thought for this one, that I'm going to try doing half of the batter in each one of these little pans. I'm still going to do my little trick. I'm just going to mark this with my fingernails somehow. Not doing a very good job with that. Oh, I can see it good enough, I think. This is just wax paper. I am going to butter the sides just a little bit. Doesn't have to be all the way up because this is not going to rise too high, but just to make it less sticky there. Let's see how I did. Good enough. Okay, let's put half the batter in this one. Now let's prepare the other one and then we can even it out. Don't have to grease the bottom because you have the little piece of paper there. pretty even. I have the oven at 350 and I'm actually going to check this in 20 minutes because it's very thin. I want to make a glaze again because I really liked that when I put some glaze on each side of the other cake that I did previously. A little bit of this one but I picked up some more. So likey that. We'll give that a try. Let me go get some wah-wah. <laughs> just actually gonna just add a little at a time. 
because we know how that goes. That's enough. I like it. This consistency. I don't know if you can see. Just like a little bit runny. Just soaks right into the cake. And then we want the cream filling. All right, I have again another 16 ounce tub of whipped topping. I am not going to even be using, well, I always say I'm not gonna be using a lot and then I always use a lot. I'm certainly not using the whole thing. I'm going to start with like, I don't know, let's say like almost half. I really don't want too much of it. And I was going to put some pudding mix in there to thicken it up a little bit, but now I'm unsure. But see, I have another big pudding, the five point, this is a 5.1 ounce. It's the pudding, instant pudding that requires three cups of milk instead of two. Let's go ahead and sprinkle some in just to thicken it a little bit. Let's see, maybe like we'll do a quarter cup. Could be less than that, but. Okay, ran out of battery. I am doing a, what I'm calling a scant quarter of a cup. I really don't even want that much. I'm changing my mind and I'm doing about half of a quarter of a cup. So an eighth of a cup. If you have an eighth of a cup measure, you can do that. And I'm going to be putting some strawberry jelly. That's probably again like a quarter of a cup. I think I need the whole quarter cup of pudding because I do want it to thicken. Sorry, but this is just the way I work. So I will have it correct in the instructions below. That's it, I'm just gonna let that sit and we're going to wait for the cake to come out. This came out way thicker than I expected. I don't know why I was thinking that, you know, that it was only gonna be like an inch thick, which is what I kinda had in my head, but this will be okay, we will go with it. I'm going to take these out. I want them hot to put my glaze on. Oops, I'm making messies. Wow, that's very hot. Let me move this one out of the way so I can hold this with a pot holder. Just peel off the wax paper. Ooh, it's like the consistency of like a banana bread. Well, let's put some glaze on each one. That's soaking in. Oh, this is going to be such a sweet, delish cake. All right, that's enough glaze though. Now we're going to let these babies cool and then we will add the filling and put those suckers together. Don't you love the way I describe things? You guys, I'm so incredibly torn as to what to do with this because it is like super moist and like ready to fall apart and I wasn't expecting the layers to be that thick so I'm just, you know, if I put a lot of cream there and put another one on top, that cream is just going to ooze out. So I thought I could build it back inside the bread pan. Let's try that. I'm just going to try to put this bigger one in here. Ugh. Okay, like that was so easy to do. This thickened up nicely. Do I really want to put that on top of that? Let's go for it. It's breaking, it's breaking. I'm eating. Okay, that's my taste test. That is good. Do I put the rest of the cream on there? So torn. Torn between two lovers. Feeling like a fool. Okay, I won't sing, I promise. Let's just use it up. <laughs> See, I'm feeling like I'm baking without you watching because I wasn't intending on having you watch. So I feel like I have permission to just be myself. You guys already know the real me anyway. I don't know, this is not pretty. I would not be bringing this to a relative's home. What am I saying? I totally would. You think I care about if something looks pretty? It 
just needs to taste good. All right, let's go sit down. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I failed miserably at taking a night off, and the irony of it is, instead of having just this one video, I have two that I did. I did one saying that I can't do videos all the time, and then I turned around and immediately started recording the cake video. As a test, I was trying to test my strength, and could I do it? And I couldn't. I couldn't tonight. It would have sent me into a downward spiral. I just couldn't absorb what I was trying to do, and I would rather go to bed exhausted and stressed out from editing and things like that than go to bed feeling guilty that I missed letting you guys see this. <laughs> Which is a disastrous looking cake. I'm sure it's gonna taste good. And I am gonna cut a little piece. Remember this says she'll have a little piece. So I'm going to cut a piece and I'm thinking I'm still gonna just freeze this like this and I'm sure I'll be able to weasel it out of there. Is that what we say? Weasel it out of there? What does that even mean? Don't know. I say a lot of things that are completely wrong because I suck. Very, very soft and fluffy. Fluff, 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 fluffy. This is gonna be a complete mess, especially that first piece. And I like it. I taste the strawberry. What do I know? do this. It's gonna just be a mess. Mess. Messies. Get off of the spatula, you piece of... <sighs> Completely not able to, like, take a slice out at this time because it's still, like, probably even a little bit warm. Mm. Isn't that pathetic? Probably not even gonna upload this. <sighs> get to get a fork. Oh, I'm so tired. A fouchette. Oh my goodness. This could be served at a restaurant. The flavor is so good. The glaze has a little bit of a, like, a crispiness to it. Mmm. I got a strawberry. This is too good. This is so worth the mess that I went through to make it. Is it gonna be worth me editing? Yes, it will. I have an hour and 15 minutes before Dancing with the Stars. I'm gonna try to get it done. I won't, but I'll try. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry that I failed you by showing you another video. I tried not to, I really did. Sorry. Bye.